Hey everyone, Kevin here with Trail Kitchens. We're sitting inside of a brand new Sprinter van here. I'm gonna give you a rundown of our TK van kitchen. Hans, what do we got here? Well, first of all, the goal was to create a completely self-contained unit. So we have electrical system, which includes a pump switch, a voltmeter, a charging port. Inside here is a uh, sturdy mount for a nine amp hour uh, uh, AGM battery so the thing is completely powered um, by itself all you have to do is charge the battery through that port and the unit is ready to roll we have a complete water system as well including gray water fresh water 14 gallons each um, there is a 45 psi pump three and a half gallons per minute we have pulse action we have regular faucet action there's a shower feature that you can use outside the van or inside the van if you need to fill bigger vessels you can pull that out um, and then our integrated camp kitchen with the integrated stove in it is also part of this unit and is quickly removed um, from the from the uh, van itself you can set this up outside or you can use it inside um, the tops come off with these four screws Typically grab these, put them in our pocket, remove the lid which has a hanging table. This provides a secondary work surface if you just want um, a quick prep there. We have a 40,000 BTU Camp Chef Everest stove integrated into these units. Um, piezo lighter, the uh, propane hookup is actually on the right side here so you take the regulator slide it on you can hook up now to bulk propane or to a one pound bottle and one of the key features to this unit is the ability to completely remove the camp kitchen from the van set it up outside and have a spacious workstation outside the unit, which most people with fans prefer is to cook outside. There is a utensil drawer um, for all of your utensils and cooking utensils. Spacious compartment for the rest of your camp gear. The legs stow inside, the table legs stow in the top. And to remove this unit, it's quite simple. Um, you pull two pins, one pin in the front, one pin in the rear, and now the unit can be completely removed. Take it outside. Inside the unit itself, in the base of it, are two potable water flexible tanks. And these tanks have uh, 14 gallons of capacity each. Mounting can be either through through bolts and brackets and we also have a specific configuration for sprinters that utilizes the D-rings in the floor for two of the three uh, mounts that lock the whole main unit down to the van floor. In the front here you can see that there's a third mount here. So there's one in the middle, one in the rear, one in the front and that's all it takes to completely remove or install the van kitchen. Now we're going to quickly show you the setup of the camp kitchen itself. Remove the screws on top, take out the tables, what eventually become the tables which is the lid, and the inside table. And then what we're going to do is put the legs on next. Easiest way to do this is just to tilt it up, insert the legs, set them down, tighten them up, and just repeat all the way around. Tighten those knobs and the legs can be adjusted 
for uneven ground. We're going to take the table legs. You'll find it easiest just to do it like this. Set the table upside down. Extend the leg. So Hans, why would somebody want to take their entire kitchen out of their van? Well, most, I mean, in, in my particular case, I always like to cook outside and not have the cooking smells and grease and everything else inside the van. And you get a lot more space, obviously, outside the van for cooking and milling about. And that's why we all camp anyways, right, is to stay outside, not stay inside. So the in and out feature of this kitchen allows you to maybe do some quick coffee water or oatmeal water inside the van in the morning, but when you're doing the big evening cook, just uh, show up at, outside here and uh, do everything alongside the outside of the van. And the nice thing about having the water system and the camp kitchen here together and you can pull the hanging cables down now too on, is that you get the extra space afforded by the flip down table I'll show you that in a second um, by the way you can pick these up and them like that as well um, now if we set this up adjacent to the to the water system what we can do by the way this is a uh, showing it using an outside water source. This could be actually a hose into another tank or to a jerry can that's shown. The idea is that not only do you get the 14 gallons inside the unit itself, but you can add additional water if you run out or if you have friends that want to take showers, etc. So we can flip down this table and now we have everything adjacent, your complete work surface. And you can put your water system your faucet um, down on this level and use the pulse feature 